Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly for June 6th to the 12th. Time is fluid. And check your other chart placements out on my channel. Let's see what your major theme for this week is here, Sagittarius. And you have justice. By the power of three by three, Mott deliver justice to me. Card number five. So karma is at play here very strongly for you this week. Some of you Saggies could have been born on the fifth. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. Some of you may also have Libra in your chart. Also doesn't have to be. But let's see what's going on here. Let's get your tea leaf themes for the week, Sag. You have the wind, ooh, the wind chimes. Peace and harmony. All right, Sagittarius. You also have the boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Oh, some of you are receiving money through a winning inheritance from family. Very large windfall could be property as well. Some of you may be buying property or receiving property. And you have Target, a goal-oriented person. All right, so you have your eyes on the prize, Sagittarius, and spirit is right there next to you, helping you receive and reach these goals. A lot of you have a very specific goal for yourself. Maybe you're your own boss. Maybe you're working towards having something for yourself financially, owning something, receiving inheritance, winning something. But with the wind chimes coming in, this is definitely good karma here. And you're receiving a lot of peace, spirit. You know what's so funny is you are the archer and you would get the target here. Right in synchronization of my Sagittarius. So let's clarify this. I want to see what this is all about here. Some of you may even be receiving like with this boat, um, like land, like property land, or somebody may be giving you some of their business. Like you may be investing percentages in business or somebody's investing in you. Let's see. Clarify the wind chimes, the boat, and target for Sagittarius. Your goals are absolutely being reached here, and you are heading towards um, a lot of accomplishments and a lot of good karma. So your hard work is paying off, Sagittarius. On wind chimes, we have the hanged man, knight of pentacles, tower. All right, so I feel like your money is going to start moving quickly. And a lot of you with that um, hanged man there, I feel like your money has been a little bit stressful or you have been stressing about money for quite some time. Maybe it's just been slow or not moving that quickly or at a pace or at a level that isn't as grand as you've been wanting. Let's see this boat, the two of cups, definitely maybe receiving something from another person. Ace of wands, there it is. And the ten of cups. Some of you are definitely receiving some sort of inheritance. Absolutely, ten of cups. Um, some of you are also, if you're like doing something with somebody, like going, if you're in business with someone or starting to go into business with another person, it's definitely going to bring you a lot more money like having another person with you. So I don't know if that resonates with anybody in terms of going into business with somebody. But if you are in business with somebody, it definitely looks like it's going to be very successful. Two of cups, ten of cups. It's really sparking a creative endeavor that will show, will bear financial fruit at the end or during the process sort of thing. Clarify the target. The Judgment card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Yeah, something is happening to your money here, Sagittarius. You're reaping good karma through um, financial situation. And I also do feel like for some of you, you may absolutely be... Um, I don't know if like you're renting a place with someone or you're moving in with someone. Like some of you definitely could be... like. Moving in with your lover 
or getting asked or an idea is sparked of moving in. Maybe that's taken a while. Maybe you've been waiting for that sense of commitment from this person. Because it looks like you're receiving a sense of abundance. And it looks in the sense of like having something. Being somewhere. Let's clarify here. I didn't clarify this quickly for anybody. But we're going to do that. You have a goal financially for sure. And I don't know if you're adding an additional person to your goal to help you reach it faster. But if you are, it's going to work and it's going to bring a lot more um, like foot traffic to your company or to your um, business. Somebody may absolutely be giving you an idea to own something. Like, let's move in together. Let's buy a car together. Whatever this is, it feels pretty good to you. And it's almost like an epiphany moment as well, where it's like, aha, this is exactly what I need to do, or this is exactly where we need to move towards for our abundant life. So clarify the wind chimes, the boat, and the target. So on the wind chimes, we have the fool... Queen of Pentacles, the world. Yeah, there's like a huge accomplishment coming your way. So I feel like for a lot of you, Sagittarius, you may find yourself um, in a new location that like you can afford, like you, you can afford it better. Others of you, you may find yourself in a new location for work that is more supported towards what you need for your financial endeavors in life. You know, like you could have had a job where you only made this amount of money, but now that you're at this job, you make three times as much as that. Somebody's going to give you some sort of something as well with money here. Or this is your lover really giving a lot of ideas of how you two can strengthen this bond. Could also be a new person as well, but they come. They're coming with. They're coming with ideas. They got something to say. They have things that they want to plan with you. A lot of planning here. Two of cups, five of swords, ace of wands, nine of swords, ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you, Sagittarius, some of you have very strong work goals. And some of you may feel like romance um, is a distraction to your goals for work. I feel like some of you feel that way. Because I feel like you have a lot of connections that you want to make for work. And I don't know, I'm getting two stories with this. Either you are in business with another person. It is your path. It is their path. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. It's something that will bring an extremely strong, abundant nature for the two of you, which will reap rewards of growth through money, through wisdom, through foundation of a job, of a business. Others of you, I feel like you're working towards your goals financially. You're moving maybe some relocation for some of you, some new jobs as well. Maybe you're in a romantic situation or you have a family and maybe that routine is going to change a little bit where you can't see your lover as much or you see them at different times now or you can't be that there that much for your family or there's only other times you're available to be supportive to them. Like maybe you work when they're in school and you can't make certain things that happen when they're in school. Like it could be any sort of thing along that line. And some of you... Unfortunately, like I know it may not sound the greatest, but some of you actually lost a family member and received inheritance, some sort of, of financial something from this person, whether it been property, money, or something. And let's clarify the target. We have judgment to the Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, to the Queen of Wands. And the Empress to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're receiving some sort of news that is very beneficial to your growth. It's like you're receiving a sense of, this is my good karma. That Empress to the Ace of Swords. Maybe this was a mother figure for some of you. Father figure, possibly male or female. Um, the Empress to the Ace of Swords. You're receiving a sense of clear, concise abundance. 
Like it's here, it's happening, it's coming through communication. I can see it with my eyes, I can hold it with my hands. And like, you know this is your path for growth. You know this is where you belong. This You know this is what you're supposed to do. You know these are the connections that you're supposed to make. So you're receiving some sort of news here that is going to give you an indication that you will reach your goals in this lifetime. You're receiving a sense of clarity. I mean, the tower to the world, shocking surprise accomplishment. So you definitely have a stroke of good karma coming your way here. Maybe it didn't seem like it when things first happened. If this had to go through a loss like situation, a loss of a person, a loss of a job, a loss of a relationship, whatever the case may be. Some of you, you may just feel like you're losing time with important people because some of your routine is changing, possibly, but things will look up, things will get better, you will find time, they will find time, plans will be made for the future, and it's not going to be like the end-all, be-all that maybe you can't be there as much for certain people or you have to spend more time taking care of a loss situation of a person, you know, like something may have changed your routine where, you know, you had, you lost somebody and you had to plan a wake or something like that. That takes time out from your, like, this is a weekly, you know what I mean? Um, this is not like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to have time for my family forever, but something may happen that, or something has already occurred that kind of changed your routine a little bit. And spirit is giving you the indication that doesn't mean that things are, going to go badly now things are going to still go in your favor you're receiving good karma but some of you have yet to realize that possibly with the tower to the world your realization comes this week and if this has to do with a love situation i definitely see new love or renewed love coming in but i still feel something around work where either you feel like you don't have enough time for love or enough time to give your devoted energy to your person. Or maybe this is the per the way this person is towards you. They kind of act like they don't have time for you. Or this, that, and the other. But it looks like this week there is some sort of indication of figuring out how to make time. So whatever you were stressing about planning is going to be able to be planned. Whatever they were stressing about planning with you is going to be able to be planned. So I definitely see a lot more action and a lot more sense of things are finally going in my favor. And that's definitely why you have the wind chimes there, the hangman to the fool, a new beginning that comes with like an aha moment. So in terms of zodiac signs here, you have Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Taurus. You really could have any energies around you or in your chart, but let's get your mini DV ghost as your advice. We have the hungry ghost. Some questions have no answers and the hungrier you become, the more you starve. Exactly. You've been stuck. When is it my time? When is things going to change for me? When is this situation going to look up? When is my business going to start booming? When am I going to find time for this? When am I going to find time for that? When is my goals going to be reached? When am I going to hear from this job? When is more foot traffic going to come into my life? When is this relationship going to look up? Spirit is saying, don't feel like you need to force or pressure any answers. The hungrier you become, the more you starve. And the more you feel like nothing is happening for you. When in reality, you know, time and destiny was just at play. And you're absolutely going to see that this week, Sag. Thank you for being here and for watching. Do not forget to like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And ring that bell so you are alerted when your next reading is uploaded. I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.